Hey guys, we have some major news for you from the State Fair of Texas 2022. This is Andre and behind the camera is Nathan. Hey guys. Hey dude. Um, so we have the new truck that they're unveiling here at the Ram booth. It's a 2023 Ram Heavy Duty 2500 Rebel. So let's take a step back here, come over. And in this video, we're gonna show you all the way around the truck and tell you all the specs we have right now and also pricing and when it's available because Ram has announced all of that stuff, right, dude? They have, and I think what a lot of people want to know is, if, are they looking at a Ram Power Wagon that's wearing a nice coat? Yes, um, so that's a really important question. Uh, for 2023, uh, the Power Wagon remains, right? right? So what is the Power Wagon? It has a suspension lift, right? Yep. It's got uh, aggressive tires. It's got 17s uh, with um, uh, bigger 33-inch tall tires, and it's got lockers front and rear, and a disconnecting front sway bar, and a winch. Right. Well, this is the Rebel, so it continues this thing, the package that they've had for Ram 1500, right? Right. And puts it into the heavy-duty perspective. So, it does not have the front locker, it does not have the front disconnecting sway bar, but like you said, it has kind of a power wagon look. Uh, what do you think about the look of it? Uh, it looks like a beefy Rebel, which I think is exactly what they wanted. But there is one really big distinction with this vehicle, Andre, and I, you can clearly see it right there. And that is... Da -da 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 -da. Bam! Boom. It's um, available with the Cummins. And, you know, the industry is going this way, right? If you look at the Ford Super Duty uh, Tremor, and if you look at uh, what GM is doing, where there's Silverado Heavy Duty uh, Z71s, uh, and also the Sierra Heavy Duty 84s. It's an off-road package that's also capable of payload and towing. So right. what, they're, what they're saying for this, uh, almost 17,000 pounds of maximum towing. Power Wagon can't do that. Not even close. Uh, about 10,000 in the Power Wagon. Right. Um, and also payload of uh, around 3,100 pounds. Which is way more than the Power Wagon. But yes. the difference here, I think, is that the Power Wagon is still far more off-road worthy because it has that front locker and front disconnecting sway bar and whatnot. Yeah, so they want to differentiate that, of course, right? Right. But let's take a look at the wheel entire package because this is where the rubber really meets the road. Gotcha. Um, so they're showing it and they're launching the Rebel Heavy Duty with this 20-inch wheel. Uh, I would call it kind of a simulated beadlock look, right? Yeah, it has that look a little bit, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, the Duratrek tire. But it's not very, uh, there's not a lot of profile on this tire, dude. No, that's one of the major differences. When you have a 17, you can get a lot more, which means you can air yeah. down more and whatnot. And they said they're also working on an 18 inch wheel uh, with you know a different tire uh, package right. for this truck. Uh, but let's look at style really quick. They have basically a Mopar Performance hood. Is that functional? Uh, I don't think it is. No, uh, okay. no, but I, I think it's kind of a look thing, right? Uh, it almost looks like a TRX, right? But the uh, TRX, yeah. of course, is functional where you get that air coming in there. Yeah, what about these other, uh, what look like extractors, heat extractors, am I correct? Yeah, I think these are indeed functional. So, and it's, it's I think the hood looks really cool. Okay. So now it will be available with the V8, right? The 6.4 uh, Hemi or the Cummins standard output. And here's the thing, it's only 2,500, right? There is not gonna be a 3,500 Ram Rebel heavy duty, at least for now. Um, and Ram says it's because uh, they kind of use the bones of the power wagon right. to kind of work off of. Okay, so that makes sense. Now there's something new that they brought out and it's actually kind of a big deal to a lot of people. And that's this guy right here, right? Yeah, brand new mirrors. If you remember, Ram for, for years and years has had that mirror that you can uh, either horizontal, have horizontal, or you plop it up into moose right. mode. Yeah, but it was also kind of on the small side, wasn't it? Yeah, smaller. So come around here. And so they created this new mirror with lights up front. And the mirror uh, area is actually larger, I believe, than before, which I welcome. Yeah, what's this? Oh, this is the camera down here, isn't it? No, I think it's actually an additional light. Is that a light or a camera? It's an additional light. And I think there's also a, a kind of a puddle lamp on the bottom. Ah, yeah, I see. Okay. So, so, of course, there's going to be different packages and different interior options on the Rebel, uh, but the power levels remain the same. So, okay. if you look at uh, their Hemi engine, still 410 horsepower, and the Cummins, of course, 370 horsepower still. But the interior, they're showing kind of a nicer option here. So, you can have cloth seats, or you can go all the way up to this very fancy interior. So, this is not a base version? No. <laughs> um, 
So it's kind of a nicer, nicer package here. Right, and it has the big screen, a big infotainment screen. Very nice interior. Can you show around the shifter there? You know, four wheel drive low. Yep, that's... Um, and there's the rear locker button right there. So no front locker again. So it's, it's different, differentiates itself in capability a little bit. Right. Another new thing is the digital gauge cluster, right? Yeah. So they're introducing that for 2023 as well across all of their trucks, including their light duty and also heavy duty trucks. And in the seat, of course, it says Rebel, right? Ram has always been kind of really nice with special touches. Yeah, and they're good at branding, that's for sure. Okay, let's it's, look at the uh, back here because yes. there are a couple other things. So it's all, only available, of course, as a crew cab with a, a shorter bed option. Uh -huh. So no eight foot beds. This is a six foot, uh, four inch bed. Ram box, of course, is available. Ram has been known for this. Um, I thought I'd see a small journalist in here, but I, I guess not. Um, no. Okay. Um, of course, 400 watts is still here. They're still doing this. I wish they'd put it out more, but that's pretty cool to begin with. You know what I'm looking at, Andre? Yeah. Am I looking at a really good platform for a overlanding vehicle? Because we've been asking yeah. for that with the, um, you know, the power wagon to make it better range yeah. just has better range and, and people have you know modified their power wagons you know they've added suspension components to them sure. to carry more weight well you don't have to do that here right, right. because there's already payload is there a little bit more towing um, you know it depends on how what kind of wheel and tire package you want these are pretty aggressive Duratrax still um, and rear locker like we said uh, is there a suspension upgrade here yeah can you see you see the blue yep. it's Bill Stein's Yes. Yeah. Okay. And also a five link uh, coil rear suspension, which is Ram is known for, right? Right. So they don't do, um, I mean, on other Ram trucks, you can get leaves still, yeah. depending on your configuration. But I think this is the way to go because it kind of puts the power down to the ground and still has really good articulation, right? They were one of the first to do coil spring rear suspensions in this class, at least in the modern era. And let's just show the back really quick because I love this. Of course, the Ram uh, Rebel uh, badging. Yep. Uh, right there. So finally, price, right? This is really important. Um, the base Hemi V8 uh, Heavy Duty Rebel will start at 67, just over 67,000 before destination uh, charges. Um, and if you look at their off-road truck lineup, of course, the off-road package on the Heavy Duty truck is still there. And the Power Wagon, uh, you know, they have that Tradesman Power Wagon package, right? Right which is very kind of basic, but very capable truck. Uh, and also the uh, luxury power wagon, which is about 70 grand. Gotcha. So this is kind of floats in the middle, so to speak. Yeah, and right? I think that's the idea. Uh, still kind of pricey, wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree? Yep, I would agree. And um, it's interesting to see what this truck is, but the big question is how are the fans going to react now, there is a winch as an option, I believe, right? Yeah, and you don't see it here because the winch, and there's a second truck right there, also Cummins powered. Right. Uh, the winch is only available on the Hemi. And That's it's, it's partly because, it's the, come the over cooler, here. right? Yeah, it's the, it's the cooling. So, if you look down in here, there's uh, intercoolers, radiators. You can kind of see through this grill right, right. there. Right. Um, so, unfortunately, because the Cummins engine is really tall and long, it's straight six. Um, according to Ram, uh, unfortunately, the winch is only available on the gas version. Oh, people are going to riot about that. So there you have it, kind of in-person, hands-on look at the brand new HD Rebel here from Texas. Uh, Nathan, thank you very much. You got it, man. And uh, we'll see you uh, with a lot more videos, a lot more news coming. So stay tuned to everything we do at alttfl.com, one-stop shop for everything automotive.